Okay, uh, on to something a little bit different. We are running plain standard. This is, so, this is the deck that uh, Joe Lissette uh, used to win the Star City Games Players Championship in the standard portion of that. And um, so this is a fairly linear, uh, you want to get a lot of energy and use it to make the Pummers huge, whatever, Bristling Hydra, and use Uncaged Fury, Larger Than Life, Fresh of Adrenaline, Blossoming Defense, whatnot, to just make your Electrogenic Pummer like an 80-80 or something. And uh, with Trample, preferably. Um, just kind of close to one-shot them. Um, it's a pretty good deck. Uh, maybe not the best deck in in, st in standard. Uh, there are definitely times where I feel like I'm playing a draft deck against a standard deck, uh, just because if you this is this is kind of accidentally a very budget deck. Uh, if you look at this, the only rares are Bristling Hydra, Electrostatic Plumber, and the lands. So he had a sideboard plan of either boarding in either Ceremonious Rejection and or Negate, probably just one or the other. I'm not super sure, with an island that you can find with a tune with the ether, and then running Botanical Sanctum, Spiral Bluff Canal, eth four ether hubs, and four Sermon of the Conduits as ways to cast these ca uh, counter spells. I, I tried that a few times. I didn't really like it. Uh, I didn't like making the mana more awkward. Um, like, there's a cost to running these things. Sometimes you need to get your fifth mana untapped. Or your fourth man, if you need to cast Bristling Hydra or something like that. So, this is just a streamlined version. We replaced the two um, rare tap lands, or rare, the Botanical Sanctum and whatever, with uh, an extra mountain, extra forest. Just makes it better, mana better uh, in game one every time. Also makes Cinder Glade considerably better with the extra, extra basics. I guess now it's really hard to run out of basics for a Tomb of the Ether, but that's not a thing. Um, and instead of running, taking the seven slots for basic land plus three each of the counter spells, we are on a uh, sideboard plan of uh, mono fair beatdown deck with uh, three harness lightning. Which also, looking at this deck, the first time I'm like, how? Wait, where's the harness lightning? You're running all this energy stuff, all these long tusk cubs and pummelers and hydras, we'll take brawlers, and you're not running harness lightning. That kind of seems crazy, but uh, game one, it's very much you need to have uh, kind of a critical mass of pump spells and creatures that benefit from the pump spells, the pummeler, etc. Um, so instead of this sub but I just want to get my beat down. This is kind of a green savanna lion, certainly better. Um, I'm, truthfully, this is the first time I'm running this particular build of it uh, with my fair sideboard plan. Um, but this seems okay. Um, like, there's just not a lot you can do on one man. Like, on turn one, all you can do in the main deck is just a two with the ether, which makes it whatever. So your mana is a little. It's okay to play Cinder Glade on turn one or something. But um, most of the mana comes into play untapped. Just running out of Tekessig Prowler on turn one and getting your beatdowns down uh, is not good against Thraven Inspector. Thraven Inspector is kind of the one thing in the format that really punishes uh, Savannah Lion slash Tekessig Prowler. But also, like, five mana, this deck gets to five mana. We're running kind of 24 lands with the Tomb of the Aether. So we can get up to 24, uh, oh, sorry, we can, we can flip this and then 4-4 four, four with kind of a little evasion thing, a uh, blocking restriction at least, is uh, seems pretty reasonable. Harness Lightning just seems very very good removal, and then we're keeping uh, Galvanic Bombardment, just one mana removal, uh, very good against the aggro decks. Uh, Tears of Valakit for blue-white flash, kills uh, most importantly Spell Queller and Avacyn. Uh, also I've so I haven't played Standard in a long time, and then I finally looked like I can play a PPTQ this weekend, and uh, so I started championing some games with this, and 
just r making a lot of mistakes that hopefully you only make once, uh, notably, specifically, uh, uh, Selfless Spirit is a card that's really annoying. Uh, just kind of my setup that's, you know, I had a board situation where they had some blockers and I had some attackers that made an attack and I used some pump spells so, so I was kind of, you know, winning all the combats, whatever, but I was going to kind of like wipe their board. And then they sacrificed Selfless Spirit. And I just went, I just traded like three pump spells and one attacking creature for Selfless Spirit. Uh, did not win that game, but that's a mistake. Uh, hopefully it will only make once. And I've already made it, so uh, this is a deck. We're going to run it through a friendly league and see how it goes.